Well, today I've come to the Wiltshire Somerset border and to an old pack horse way. They're quite rare in our area, and pack horses really went extinct in the 1750s from a point of view of transporting goods. So they used to transport goods to areas that were difficult. You couldn't bring a cart or anything else down. And it's really interesting to have a walk around this area. And I hope you'll enjoy it because there's a fantastic thing about this that we haven't got anywhere else in Wiltshire, a bleak Somerset, because I crossed the border as well. So come with me and we'll have a great time. <laughs> And just down here in the distance behind me, you can see the Pack Horse Bridge, which is the first part of what we're going to look at today. A truly amazing structure, and it was used for pack horses. Now on the Pack Horse Bridge, which crosses the River Froome. This is the crossing between Wiltshire and Somerset. So Somerset that way, Wiltshire that way. So it forms part of the border. The bridge itself is an original Pack Horse Bridge. Around about 1750, it was refurbished. And these oak sides that you can see here are a much later adjustment. So running your horse along here must have been very difficult and involved some risk. But it's at a place called Tellisford, and Tellis Ford means basically Table Ford. Uh, so it would have been a forded area at one time. So you can see the bridge there, and it's an amazing structure. Um, but when this bridge was actually refurbished, it would have been really at the peak of the pack horse trade when it was first refurbished. So a much older structure that covered what would have been a forded area. There's something else here that I need to show you which is truly incredible. You may wonder why a bridge was built here at all if there was a ford before and that's because the river Froome can become quite turbulent, quite a dangerous river when it's in flood so you couldn't have crossed any other way so the building of this bridge maintained a trading route. And you can see how turbulent the river Froome is running along underneath the bridge here as we're still on the top. Well now I've crossed the bridge, I've crossed from Wiltshire into Somerset. So we're now in Somerset and we'll have a look at this other very interesting part. The bridge and the hollow would have been linked by bridal paths um, that follow up behind uh, Trowbridge from here so they would have come this way and there would have been trains of these horses that were coming with goods down here on a consistent basis when the horses died out or the trade of the horses I should say died out they then used the horses for things like canals and pulling carts but um, in their day they were quite a thing pack horses so there we go so this is the amazing thing about this area is the pack horse steps still exist and these would have taken you up to the other side of the valley with your horse and you couldn't have done it any other way so it's fantastic that these still exist here I'll have to count them and see how many there are <laughs> In total there are 40 steps coming up here that would have been the horses would have been carrying their goods on there and carrying them on so although we talk about pack horses dying out they were still used in the first world war pack horses but actually in Britain for moving goods about it really died out apart from in areas like Scotland and places like that so these steps are a piece of our past and quite fantastic really there's nothing like them uh, at all and we're in Somerset now so we've gone from Wiltshire to Somerset what great fun 
So the steps run out into this road here uh, that would have been cobbled as well. So the cobbled steps would have led into a cobbled street, if you like. So quite incredible that, and the sides of that cobble still exist, but not the the main hump of it, so to speak, or camber of it. Well, I've just come up the village onto the main lane off of what's called Crab Hill, where we had those bits of cobble either side that would have been forming part of the actual pack horse trail. And this village is really unusual in the fact that it has no war memorial. And I'll tell you why later. Well, I'm now at the top of the village, sat on a lovely seat. And the important thing about this little village and this wonderful pack horse trail that leads up to here, it could have gone off any number of ways from this point towards Bath, towards Beckington, towards Froome, could have gone anywhere and that's what they used as the main goods route if you like in those days and just sat here the important thing about this village is it's described as a thankful village it means that everybody in the first world war that went off to fight the first world war actually came back which is very very unusual Well, I think I'm going to end my trip here, but what a fantastic time I've had looking at these wonderful steps and looking at the valley, looking at the bridge, looking at everything to do with it and to imagine that this must have been a main highway for goods many years ago. So I'm going to head my way on home and I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.